Okay, so who are you? My name is Nadison St. Pierre. I was born in Haiti. I moved in America uh, 2009 and I went straight to Florida. And I recently moved to New York City last year. But most of my work is like, it's all based on how I'm feeling or if I see something in society that's not normal or, you know, politics, uh, based certain things in, in my community that I see that's not right. So I kind of like create about it. Um, yeah. Who would you say some of your biggest inspirations are? An art or? We can go first with an art and then two yeah, in general. And in art, it's uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat, uh, Kihan Diwali, and uh, Carrie J. Marshall. Those are like three of my most uh, favorite artists that I look up to when I first started painting. And what about in life? In life, I would say my my brother. You know, um, I grew up with my I grew up with my brother when I was a kid, and in fact, uh, I didn't even know much about art, but he usually walked me to school when I was a kid, and so I used to see a lot of murals uh, on my way to school. And he was like explaining what those things are, and he was like talking about art, you know. Yeah. And how did you find your way to New York City? I moved here. Um, I don't even have family in New York City. Uh, when I moved here, I was homeless, you know, sleeping in hotel, um, pinning in the subway, uh, sleeping in the J train. Uh, but I was still creating because I came here for that, and I knew. Uh, if I continue creating regardless because my work I have full confidence in my work you know and uh, yeah so within a year for me to have a studio space in the Oculus is like it's pretty cool I would cool. say that's pretty big <laughs> yeah that is pretty cool <laughs> so when I moved here I moved with my dad my mom was in Haiti but when my mom moved here they got divorced so I never really see uh, them going out on the dates whatever so it's me now, it's like, as an artist now, what can I do about the image that I wish I've caught them seeing growing up is to create paintings like that. You know, the entire love series, like couples coming together, not only man and female, but two men, two women, um, just, a, just a love series, you know. So in another way, it's a way for you to project an emotion that you yeah. want to draw on, but yeah. maybe you haven't even experienced yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and not only for myself, but for other kids that who feel like that growing up without seeing those images, seeing the parents yeah. together. Yeah, and for them to understand that it's a battle that a lot of people fight. Yeah. You know, I think it's so important when creating to have that drive and that passion and not want, like you said earlier, you yeah. feel like you're never, yeah. you're never not creative. Yeah. Yeah. What time in your life did you realize that you were an artist or was that something you've known since day one? Um, last year, although I was creating since I was a kid, last year was the first time I called myself an artist because Coming to New York City, I knew the risk. I knew that I was gonna be homeless. I knew that I don't have family here. I knew all the negative things that was gonna happen, but still, I moved to New York City. And so after all that experience, me painting in the subway, having experience with the homeless individual, creating portrait of them, putting up those portrait in galleries, and to see people coming from Brooklyn to all the way to, um, to Harlem to look at a painting, but yet not paying attention to the individuals. So it's like, oh, I have a purpose. I have a, a story. I have, there is a lot of people as artists that need that little push to be better, to create paintings that matters. Not just create a beautiful abstract piece and I say, I'm like, yo, there's more, you know what I mean? There's people lives you can touch with the skills that you have, you know, it's a, it comes, it comes with the ups and downs, the pros and cons, you know what I mean? Yeah.
And where you were born, were you raised there as well, or did you yes. move around a lot as a kid? I move a lot. Is after the flood, because I was born in Haiti, Gonaive, and after the flood, my parents lost the house. So we sleep with cousins. Uh, we went to a different state in Port-au-Prince. Stayed there with my uncle. Um, yeah, we go back and forth, back and forth. So my journey in New York City, uh, being homeless, is not the first time because I've lost my family, lost their home when I was a kid. So I was like moving from houses to houses. Uh, so yeah, it's although as an adult now, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm I don't have any kids, I don't have any wives. This is like the perfect time to take risk. And how I old mean, are you? I'm 28. Yeah, it's, it's like perfect the perfect time. time to take risk, and so let's do it. That's yeah. perfect, yeah, man. A year and all this art is yeah. insane. Yeah, it's so impressive. Appreciate it, man. I had uh, well, the most thing that I I've, uh, remember the most was a near death experience. I even created a painting about it. Um, is this is right here? It's called Pain to Purpose. And so the idea behind it is to how can I recreate or create um, my trauma into um, a purpose. And then so it's me creating two self-portraits. One is if art wasn't part of my life, it's in a self-destructive mode. And the other one is me right now as an artist is what can I do about the trauma? And this is another perspective. I created a skull, uh, a skull here, which also represents me. That is, if my mom they got up the bed because um, there was a flood and I was sleeping on the floor. And uh, it's if my mom they got up the bed at the right time, this character could have been me. And if art wasn't part of my life, this character would have been me. And the fact that I am an artist now, which is this character, is what can I do about it? is to create paintings to inspire the next generation. This is what uh, it's called paint to purpose. Now, I'm sure you've, as you can tell, you know, last year you've been able to accomplish yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. I know as an artist, it can be hard to set goals for yourself in terms of creativity because yeah. Creativity isn't an endless flow. Absolutely. It comes in and it goes. Yeah. Just like anything in, in life. Yeah. When you feel that you have a lack of creativity on certain days or you feel unmotivated, what is the driving factor that allows you to continue your work? I'm, I know like some artists call it creative block. Never have that. Um, I, know the, I know my why, why I'm creating. Um, even sometimes I don't feel like creating, but because I know the reason why I'm creating, the reason why I need to create, always this enough motivation that I need to create something. And the thing that I'm creating doesn't have to be nice. It could just be a random circle. And eventually ideas will come in the process of creating just a simple circle. And yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. And what is this piece you're working on right now? I'm working on a series called A Portrait of Love, and this is like one of them. I made this one uh, a few days ago, and I went to the subway um, just to finish it. So it's going to be like a lot, 10 of them, okay. the, yeah, 10 of the series. Uh, there's a few, couple up top, above on the other side. And what was the process of securing a space like this? Like this? Um, I had a show at um, Fulton Center and uh, there is Art on the Ave. What Art on the Ave does is they go around New York City, find empty spaces and then put an artist in that space. And uh, I asked the lady uh, if there are anyone or anything that she's doing after the show is done. She said no, then I applied for the space and she gave me the space to create, and after the space, I move here. So it's like a five months residency. And so you have five months here. Yeah. And uh, what was that art? In the, uh, art on the app. Art they on the also app. on Instagram. Yeah. Okay. If you could share one message to the world, what would it be? Uh, I would 
would say the most basic thing, uh, love yourself or be yourself. Um, but yeah, just that would be it. Because with that comes with loving other people. You know, you have to be fully comfortable with being who you are as a person. Um, and that way, you know, regardless of what the outside say about you, you are comfortable with 